Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to make bell pepper sabzi with besan. Mm -hmm. Or simla mirch with besan. Or <laughs> <laughs> bell peppers with chickpea flour. There you go. <laughs> All covered. <laughs> but it's a super delicious recipe. Mm -hmm. And we're using medium sized bell peppers here. We've got about three of them and we've chopped them finely. It's actually up to you how big or how small you want these pieces. But I like right. to hide them from my kids. So. so over here I have half a cup of chickpea flour or basin and to this I'm going to add some spices quarter teaspoon garam masala red chili powder to taste quarter teaspoon haldi or turmeric powder half teaspoon of cumin powder one teaspoon of dhania or coriander powder approximately a quarter teaspoon of salt now we're just adding salt for this basin for the vegetables when, it, when they cook we're going to add uh, salt separately so we're going to mix this and to this we're going to now add some oil so approximately a teaspoon of oil and now again rub the oil into the basin this is done mm -hmm. it's ready and I have a pan heating up on medium heat I'm going to go and roast this basin until it has a nice fragrant smell now it's important to roast this on a medium heat and not too high so it doesn't burn too fast and you're looking for a light change in color and the raw smell of basin to go away replaced by a nice fragrant roasted smell Okay, I'm getting a wonderful aroma of roasted chickpea flour. Are you? So am I. Yeah, all the yeah. way to here. <laughs> okay, this is ready to come off the stove and I'm going to remove this into another plate. And I'm going to get my dhania ready over here. Actually, cilantro tastes so good in this dish. I just love it. Now I've just wiped the pan just so the remainder of the flour doesn't burn in there. And in the same pan, we're going to add one tablespoon of oil. And once it's hot, we're going to add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, an eighth of a teaspoon of asafoetida. Now we're going to wait for all the mustard seeds to pop. We're going to add one teaspoon each of minced ginger and garlic. And green chilies chopped to taste. And then quickly add the chopped bell peppers. And mix. So it's a good thing uh, we have a very big open pan over there because you don't want to overcrowd the vegetables because the moment you overdo do that, it's going to not cook evenly and it's going to let water go. So this is perfect. Good thing to keep in mind. And while that's going on, I'm going to chop the cilantro fine. And these bell peppers are going to cook and we're going to off and on stir them and make sure they don't burn. But it's going to cook until they're tender. That smells so good. In the combination of the cumin and the mustard seeds, fantastic. In the seasoning, fabulous. So our bell peppers have been cooking for about two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. And now is the time to add back in the roasted chickpea flour. We're just going to sprinkle it on evenly and mix it through. Just make sure all the bell peppers are coated nicely. And now. We're going to cover it and cook it on low until the bell peppers are tender. But be sure to keep an eye on it and keep stirring every once in a while. And all the water that's collected on the lid, we're just going to pour it back in and stir it. So this has been cooking for about seven or eight minutes and it's looking a little bit dry. Mm. So you want to put some water? Yeah, let's okay. sprinkle some on. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt for the bell peppers and cover and let it cook on low. Okay, let's take a look. Now we're going to switch off the stove, add some chopped coriander leaves or cilantro and mix it through. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Last but not the least, we're going to Put some fresh lime in there. This is my favorite part. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. There you go. Now this is a perfect accompaniment to chapati because it's a dry mm. sabzi and it's fantastic. Yes. And like you said, you know, 
kids also actually enjoy it because mm -hmm. they don't realize that there is bell pepper in there. Yeah. So the basin is, you know, perfect, perfect combination. So the focus is not just the bell pepper, it's the combination. So right. it's fantastic. And so. it's a perfect balance of the two. Right. So enjoy your bell pepper with basin. <laughs> and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.